So in the last lecture we were talking about rule number 4, sub rule number 2 and in that we had spoken when the credit can be availed on capital goods and how much credit will be available. So we have prepared the chart for that. In the book it is given in the tabular format. Now after the table each point one by one. As per the definition, in case of manufacturer, Senved credit is allowed for the, for the capital goods used in the factory. Therefore, Senved credit is available even if goods are not used in the manufacture, but those are used in ancillary activities such as testing, quality control, etc. So, while discussing the definition, we said that in relation to manufacture, it is enough that capital goods are used in the factory. Whether having any relation with the manufacturer or not, that is immaterial. But for service provider, it is essential that the goods are necessarily used in connection with the providing of output service. So this point is simply saying, even if the goods are used for quality control, for testing, for checking, for packing, etc., etc., since those are being used in the factory, those are capital goods. Next point, in case of service provider, the capital goods should be used for providing output service. That is, next point, in case of service provider, capital goods may be used anywhere. There is no requirement that the capital goods should be used in the premises of service provider. So in majority of the cases where a service provider is providing service, services are not given from his own premises services are generally at the site of the customer so where the service is there will be the goods right but in case of manufacturer where the manufacturer is so that's why for a manufacturer capital goods are in the factory but for the service provider location becomes irrelevant those may be in the premises those may be outside the premises next one Capital goods used in the manufacture of exempt intermediary goods are eligible for Senved credit provided final goods are dutiable. This one case law SRF limited, this will help you. This is one of the landmark judgment kind of things you can say. Landmark judgments you have to remember. This is one of that kind of judgment. 